Even though it's it's raining, it is raining, yeah. which is always kind of fifty fifty, right? Whether we're gonna, whether my bo- whether my box we'll is see. turned on, and whether I, oh, is my box turned on? Power was out yesterday. Oh, okay, there Rain it is. today. Yeah. Is your box working? Yes. There are dangerous seasons okay. here for Stephanie Miller in International Rain, avocado season. Because what does that mean? It means more squirrels than usual, which also takes yeah. our chances of getting on the air down to about fifty percent. Here is mm-hmm. the good news. I don't have to put up a pillowcase today because it's uh, rainy and cloudy. So we'll learn there will right. not be a lighting problem in hour three. <laughs> today made oh. me realize exactly what kind of ramshackle little show this is. Well, I was like, can I gather those thumbtacks again? Do I have the right pillowcase? Oh, thank God it's raining. Okay. <laughs> what are our seasons? There are like earthquake, wildfires, mudslide. Mm-hmm. They say we don't have seasons. It's magical. It's magical. Yeah. This is mudslide okay. season. And and June gloom. Yes. That is a season. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sean, of course, he probably has, it's you know that stupid app they have, the calm app that's just rain. Yes. I'm like, how is that calming? Mm-hmm. How is that? Uh, we're gonna do our own app. A Tina Turner. It's not that. Sean, bad. did you did it's you wake up bad. with a rumbly tumbly? Are you like, oh, I don't know what it's gonna be today. I woke up to thunder. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We did too. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, rain for me means there's going to be expensive leaks, there's roof things, deck things, might, may or may not be on the air. Okay, whatever. But whatever. Here we are. Very exciting. Very exciting. And also, the, uh, the the biggest news, of course, this morning is that Major Biden, what did I say? I'm always right. He is a good boy. Mm-hmm. Fake news. It was fake news. Witch hunt. No one's ever seen anything like it before. It was just a little nip. There was no, I uh, didn't break any skin. No one's ever been persecuted like this before. <laughs> Am I getting? I forget the catchphrases. Isn't it good that Please you kind don't. of are starting to forget? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um, what did I say, Chris? Noted dog hater, cat man, Chris the boy. He's a good boy. I don't hate dogs. I grew up with a dogs. Monday story about Major Biden, the first family's youngest dog, said that he had charged and bit someone at the White House. CNN claimed that he was being taken back to Delaware and had been overly aggressive. It was a claim disputed by the Oval Office. That is Major and Champ's account. <laughs> the Oval Office. <laughs> this is so great. Okay, they reported a statement from the Secret Service who explained Major Biden had uh, nipped an agent's hand and no skin was broken. The Oval Office says, Yelp, I am innocent. Hashtag pause release. Come on. That's, oh, that's so cute. I can... I'm in diabetic shock. I'm just saying the baby Fred, who is recovering from surgery, because as you recall, it was a tumor of every yeah, kind. There was a lot of tumors. There was a tumor on top of a tumor. He's doing fine now. His cummerbund is off, so he doesn't look like he's going to the prom anymore. Oh. But his little, yes, he's, and he's doing, he's hopped up on, not as much cocaine as Don Jr., but he's hopped up on I something, you know, yeah. pain stuff. Don Jr. during that oh, it's Meghan not Markle video? Is he coked up? It's, we'll talk to Bob Seska. Exactly. He, oh. Bob Seska is, a, for some reason, a keen observer. Exactly yeah. how coke. I mean, coke to the gills, is that the proper term? Exactly how coked up is he? Because, mm-hmm. oh my uh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where was I? I'm sorry. I was going from dogs I don't to... know. <laughs> Although he was on <laughs> Handy the other night, and he looked like he was on the verge of tears, but that was also the, the day he was at Trump Tower cooking the books. So he may oh. realize what's coming. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Trader Todd is scared. Is he scared to go to jail? Is it low, low, low energy and glassy eyes? Not scared to go to jail. <laughs> Afraid you might be too popular. I'm not even sure why I'm talking <laughs> like that. It just makes me happy. Okay. Because we're hunting. We're hunting Trader Todd's. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to move. It's now. raining and we're on the air. So I don't know. Anyway, where right, was I? Exactly oh, so. Major Biden is a goodbye. Right? But I was just saying they over... Okay, so I was saying, oh, I know, baby Fred. The baby Fred Mm -hmm. of the family who is handsome and romantic. He may have nipped a a time or two. Same Mm -hmm. thing. Same thing. No broken skin. Have I bought someone a new pair of pants? Perhaps. 
Have I purchased Broken pants? pants? Yes. Just Broken a little, pants. A tiny nip. Just. <laughs> Major Biden's a good boy. He's in a new environment. You know what it is? He's probably sniffing out Trump loyalists. There's probably one of those Trump loyalist Secret Service agents. And I don't want to hear it because Donald Trump made them sit in a sealed car with him when he had coronavirus, the Secret Service. Major Biden, who is a guh boy, doing a little tiny nip. It's nothing. Fake news. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to exactly how... Oh, oh, wait, our favorite. Our favorite little redhead is next to uh, Jody Hamilton, Jen Psaki, yes. who is the bomb. She yes. the frequently bomb. drops them. She had to address. I just, I seriously can't believe like 525,000 people have died in, of COVID and we're about to pass the most progressive legislation in the history of America. But this was, of course, what they wanted to know about. Champion Major, the President and First Lady's dogs, uh, members of the family, are still getting acclimated yes. and accustomed to their new surroundings and uh, new people. And on Monday, the First Family's younger dog, Major, was surprised Good by boy. an Good unfamiliar boy. person yes. and reacted in a way that resulted in a minor injury to the individual, yes. which was handled by the White House Medical Unit with no further treatment needed. It had been previously planned already uh, for the dogs to be cared for by family friends in Delaware during Dr. Biden's travels to military bases this week. She has a three-day trip this week, mm -hmm. and the dogs will return to the White House soon. See, even ex exceptional detail by Jen Psaki. Please give me a, a Psaki drop. V exceptional detail. Calm. Psaki. A <laughs> lot of detail. Complete transparency from the Oval Poffus. What? What? It? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. One more dog question. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another dog's question. Okay. Go I'd ahead. Like <laughs> Just a, a quick clarification sure. on the dogs. Okay. Um, can you confirm that it was a Secret Service member who was bitten? And can you also reassure the public that Major Biden will not be euthanized as a result of this? Well, oh. certainly Major Biden is a member of the family, so I can assure you that. Uh, I don't have any more details on the individual. Um, I would encourage you to ask the Secret Service, but I'm not going to have any more uh, details other than that. Oh my God, that was a Chris Lavoy like dog hater, cat lover question. Will he be euthanized? Oh my God, That's a dark turn. he's a member of the family. Things just went dark there. Wow. I mean, really, who let the dogs out? That is really. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Who let the dogs out? Go, Major, run, run, Major. Okay. All right. Oh, by the way. Oh, God. Another correction before we begin the show today. Uh -oh. Jason in El Cajon, California. Steph, you can disembowel bowels, but not arms. Okay. I apologize when yeah, I was in the middle true. of talking and Jamie was, okay, Jamie was mauling me. He, she was trying to, she was trying word. to disembowel me, starting with my arm. My arm was being clawed off and I apologize, have, Jason, that I used the wrong, that I used the wrong word. I did not say she was disemboweling my arm. I said, Jamie is currently disemboweling me. By chewing on your arm? She was trying to get to my bowels. She had to get the arm as the, in the way on the left side when mommy is she talking. She had to turn that thing off so she could get to the bowels where she wanted to be. Okay. Of course I would defend Major being two ill-trained beasts. Yeah. Who basically train me. They don't, I don't train them. Just you try it with the Great Pyrenees. They're like, no, when we feel like it, maybe, but no, not now, whatever. Well, okay. Your, your um, tiny toy peekapoo wasn't even trained. So you, oh, you just don't train dogs. He was a terror. And he lived yeah. to 17 and a half. He, ter he was he a domestic did. terrorist for quite some time. <laughs> Pookie. Yes. That was uh -huh. the little dog bark. is quite yes. s quite soothing. That should also be in our com app, Sean. Rain <laughs> and a small yappy dog incessantly <laughs> right next to your ear. You know. the opposite of calm. <laughs> <laughs> okay wow pookie was so long ago i had uh boyfriends but i remember pookie would never let me uh kiss anybody he would get in between us and start kissing both faces to break it up so uh even if i did not have a love life now due to my horrific personality i would not if pookie were still here so well you shouldn't you shouldn't smear peanut butter on your face when you're kissing men i did not uh, smear peanut butter on my face he was just very jealous he was a mama's boy i see okay <laughs> Kathy Griffin, noted detective, uh, said, you guys, Prince Charles is being photographed talking to black people today. Wow, subtle. I knew it was Prince Charles. 
I mean, right? When Meghan and Harry made a point of saying it was not the Queen or Prince Philip, I'm like, it's mm-hmm. Charles. That's why he's not answering his calls. I mean, it could be William, but I think it's Charles, don't you? Oh, I don't think it's William. No. I think it's that, Charles. Who else would it be? I the royal it's family, It's if it's not the Queen or Philip. I th- it's, it's Charles. Jack Hughes. It's Jack yeah. Hughes. And did you see he made a point of being photographed with a whole bunch of people of color yesterday? Yeah, that's what... <laughs> Yes. Read she just tweet. said that. Oh right. my God, you oh. don't listen to me. I just said that. Kathy Griffin said he was just photographed with a bunch of black people oh, yesterday. Okay. okay. Oh my God, <laughs> you don't listen to me even more than you used to not listen to me, do you? Uh, <laughs> what? Oh my God. I just, I don't know. I heard the cat. Yeah. Heard Thank the you, cat Travis. And Travis, you never back me up on anything. And look at you backing me up on that he does not listen. I just opened the segment by saying, Kathy. Okay. That was pretty blatant. Wow. 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 Sometimes I'm wondering if he's doing Am it on I, purpose right now. Is anybody out there? Anybody at all? Did anyone? Where's that Ren and Stimpy? Can you hear me? Wow. I hope other people are listening more than Chris. Wow. Otherwise. <laughs> Stephanie, did you hear that Prince Charles's film was photographed with yes! black people yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> the name of this show is... Stephanie Miller. I just said it! <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I don't. So what's the deal with the right wing? Do they just want to because Joe Biden has like 60 percent approval rating, right? He's this Mm -hmm. COVID relief is in the seven high 70s, wildly popular. Are they just trying to like, first of all, this royal family thing, you just automatically take the side of the racists. Like, why do you even care? Right. Yeah. That's yeah. I don't get that. Let's hear some of uh, Don Jr.'s Coke rant before we uh, (sighs) grill Bob Seska about it. Here we go. All right, guys, you knew it was coming. We're talking Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, Ugh. and the Oprah interview. You know, Ugh. I actually couldn't care less about this stuff, really, but since everyone's talking about up. it and every other tweet uh, is coming up, I think we got to address some of this stuff because I have oh, a God. feeling that I can relate a little bit. You know, it's I've dealt a lot with press and high-profile families and a lot of BS and... Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. Are we pretending that Meghan Markle isn't the kind of person that was like looking for all of this attention? Yeah, thank God you don't know any uh, other attention whores. That, uh, mm-hmm. uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Wow. He can okay. relate. He I'm, just compared them to the royal family. I don't know if yeah. we have a scale, but I'm going to say to the gills is my is I well, it, I'm in for to the gills <laughs> level of coked up. Okay. Yes. Keep going. Please. Well, yeah. yes. imagine I went to you guys and said it's terrible. To have to live at Mar-a-Lago, oh, you know, I'm not sure there's an equivalent to Buckingham Palace or one of the palaces over there in America, but like, if there is one, Mar-a-Lago is close. If I made that complaint with a straight face, you guys would laugh me off of this page, even my fans, and you'd be 100% right. I'm sorry, did he imply there the royal family yeah. Mar-a-Lago is the palace here in America yeah it's, or yeah, it's a and... house it's a club right. that he's not even supposed to be living yeah, in why is he living right. there yeah and yeah. Then he said megan yeah he slammed her personality well it's hard to match his charming personality yeah wow <laughs> our friend Kristen johnson tweeted i have all kinds of empathy for everyone dealing with a substance abuse problem but not this guy <laughs> this guy um Anyway, she, he slammed her personality, suggested she has brainwashed Prince Harry into some kind of woke reality. She said, I feel well, bad for Harry. He's like a guy in a, a hostage video. Um, well, I believe that's what Trump said, that I feel bad for Harry. He's, I wish yeah. him luck. He's going to need it. Because they're both misogynistic well, weeds. That's why. He and his well, father, yeah. misogynistic. They're, they're also friends with Pierce Morgan. Piers Morgan oh. went on a date with, with and then he canceled, Meghan Markle. And then he canceled himself. And- What's that? He, then he canceled himself. Why are you well, canceling yourself? Why? Are you, hmm. Yes, he went well, on a date. Uh, uh, yeah, well, he went on a date with her, right. and then he dropped her off where she went to the party where she met Harry. So oh. she cut things off with Piers Morgan that night, and he's still upset about it. That's why he has it out for Meghan Markle. Excuse and- me. Piers Morgan is still good friends with Donald Trump. Okay, excuse me a minute. I just okay. think I'm gonna burn. I just, I just had a, a vision of someone having yeah. to Piers Morgan. Okay. I, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so but that's, that's a serious what, upgrade. That's what the connection is. That's why yeah. the Trumps hate Meghan okay, Markle. Okay. Well, he is also and Piers also Morgan. a misogynistic weed. 
So mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And they're also out there. Oh, good friends with um, one of whom I'm thinking of, Prince Andrew and that other guy. Oh, Jeffrey Epstein. They're all yeah, friends Epstein. with. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, but I get for it. Megan, Megan, that was an upgrade, wasn't Megan it? Was, Megan was total was upgrade. Her. Megan was talking yeah, about while black. In the course of a couple of hours? Sure. Yeah. Huge oh, our friend Jen Kirkman threw in another uh, bomb. I mean, not a sake bomb. But she goes, am I the only one that still remembers the long-held rumor that Harry is not Prince Charles' son? He looks a lot like yes. the bodyguard guy, the red-haired bodyguard uh -huh. guy that... Mm -hmm. up. So maybe that's why. Right? He's not taking his calls and he's maybe... Well, I don't know. Okay. All right, that was our little, that was our pop psychology segment. Hope you enjoyed it. 22 minutes <laughs> yeah. after the hour. We have Bob Seska coming up, of course, Malcolm Nance, and uh, Coffee with Carlos L's Rocky on the Stephanie Miller Show. Thank <laughs> you.